Spider-Man Far From Home is a field trip movie. They're going all across Europe. Now, just when you think of that, you kind of realize that there's an important part of Europe that's been recently established in the MCU that we could have gotten as it was confirmed by the director. Unfortunately, they decided to take it out, so let's talk about New Asgard. New Asgard has been around on Earth now for a while. We know that it's established. We know that there's refugees of Asgard living there. We know that it's in Europe. So at one point when they were looking at ideas of where the field trips could go, New Asgard was actually brought up as an idea and as a concept to go there. And honestly, it's unfortunate that they don't go here because this would have been a perfect introduction into the new aesthetic and look for what Asgard is on Earth. And it honestly would make a whole lot of sense because now the Earth, everybody on it knows that aliens exist. They even live among us in this little colony up here. So why not teach the history of the Vikings, what they actually did, and then their history up there in Asgard and what they're gonna do now. Introduce us to the new king and queen, or just a queen. We don't really know what the established, you know, timeline and frame of mind is right now in the MCU for them at least. I think this is honestly like a missed opportunity because it would have been really cool to get that introduction. But at the same time, I think I understand why they didn't want it. It's just kind of like, we don't have a complete design. And to let another director dictate what it's gonna look like, and then when they eventually get to show it off in another film full on, having to follow somebody else's vision typically doesn't work for directors. And it's really hard to kind of adapt that. That was kind of the problem a lot of directors had with what Zack Snyder was doing in the DCEU, which is why James Wan just got in there and was like, I'm not using any of that. We're just gonna do my Aquaman. And you can see that's always a problem. So as bummed as I am that we didn't get new Asgard, I think it's kind of a missed opportunity. But at the same time, I understand why they didn't put it in there. And maybe it would have been a little bit too on the nose. It would have been like a sales pitch for something else. And certainly Spidey has his own story he has to tell. So let's not take time away from that to highlight another facet of the MCU. So I understand it from that standpoint, but still kind of wish we could have seen something. 